This video is brought to you by Calor Graphics and Trail Tech. Let's go shred some tires. All right, boys. We're on the new Beta Cross trainer. It feels so weird. After just riding a four strokes, yeah, not not used to this. It is a lot more uh, vibrating than the KLX, that's for sure. Although it's definitely tolerable. Oh no, wow. Well, that sucks, eh? They put a heap of boulders in here. Wow, this ride's so weird, dude. Holy crap. Well, this sucks. The whole thing is just duffed. Wow, it feels like learning how to ride all over again. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of punch here. Yeah, this is like learning how to ride all over again. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. Wow. This is so weird riding two stroke. This thing's got lots of low end. Yeah, that takes you long for the ride. All right, so we just did our first little test run. Turns out the SD card corrupted on half of that, so half of that wasn't even recorded somehow. But nonetheless, just kind of first thoughts on the bike. It's a really cool bike. Uh, it feels really, really, really weird coming from four-stroke stuff. Yeah, the bike feels really comfortable. A lot more vibrations than like the four-strokes for sure. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the suspension being way too so soft. Ironically for me, it feels a little bit too stiff which is, I guess, good because it's soft suspension. Still feeling too stiff for me. I guess that's a good thing. It feels like I should be able to get adjusted just right, but so weird. Feels so weird to ride. It's a really cool bike. Really like it. Um, yeah, just getting used to it and everything feels so foreign at this point. I feel like I lost all ability to ride coming from the KLX and it just feels feels crazy. Like things that I looked at before and was like hit no problem on the KLX and just sending it. I feel super timid and like I gotta spend some more time on this unit cause our trip's coming up quick and I gotta get used to it cause we got some gnarly trails coming up. So it's just, let's go ahead and let's just keep mission it and let's see what we can get into. Yeah, it feels good in here. to the uh the uh, rr pipe right away but i don't think so i can't believe this thing's street legal man i can't wait to get our turn signals and stuff on it just be able to ride out here right after work you bet your butts i'm working on my motorcycle license if you guys got any tips or tricks to help passing your license test <laughs> let me know down below boys. Yeah, this thing rips, boys! This thing rips! I do understand what people are saying, though. The front end does, uh, at these higher speeds, it does get a little bit twitchy. It starts doing this. But that's also because this has got, uh, you know, shorter geometry. But, oh boy, yeah, this thing... Yeah, no, we need to change suspension stuff. It's way too stiff. <laughs> no, this thing's fun. But yeah, no, way too stiff. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, no, this thing shreds, dude. This thing absolutely shreds. This is fun as hell, man. I can surely tell the difference in tires, though. Going from that super gummy tire to these dot approved street tires, nowhere near as much traction. Oh man, this thing's awesome. This thing's absolutely awesome. Oh, I love it! I love the two stroke! <laughs> this thing's so fun. So fun. I'm not sure what we need to soften or how to soften it because I've never actually had to tune my suspension. So uh, that's something we're gonna have to learn about, but it just feels really stiff on impact. So I think that means we need to soften up the compression. Oh, this thing's fun, man. Having a freaking blast. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is good fun. And we're just taking a peek here at our um, oil injection line, making sure that the oil is still feeding because we don't want to kill this motor. It's got, uh, we got 1.4 kilometers on the bike so far and 0.0, .0 hours still. This thing's a tractor, man. It just lugs and goes. Oh yeah, you can lug it right down. All right, well, let's go make our way over to a uh, single track. Try one that's a bit more flowy than it is technical. See how that goes. Oh yeah, dude. Shredder, absolute shredder. Absolutely zero um, pipe bang, which a lot of people were talking about that they're getting pipe bang on these bikes. I'm not seeing any or hearing any. <laughs> this is just rolling on the throttle. Let's try, uh, let's try cloud mode. Right, we got our little toggle switch here for high power and low power. So far, we've only been in high power. Yeah, this thing instantly just spins the tires, man. Wow. All right. Into our first single track. On the bike, this is actually my first single track ever on a two stroke. I've tried my guy, my buddy's bikes on the road stuff, but never in the, uh, in the trails. Yeah, I'm wearing my super dark tinted goggle doesn't help. I can't see Jack in here. Even with high beam on. Oh wow, and this whole, oh, the whole time we were doing those hill climbs, we've been in soft power. Oh, and there's total, total tree fall in here. Well, that's why I didn't feel as saucy. That's why it felt more tame. Oh yeah, instantly feel more pickup. That makes sense. It felt very, very tame on those hill climbs and that's why we literally had it in the tame mode. But yeah, I can't just rail these corners like I did on the KLX yet. Yeah, baby. That's fun. Yep, yep, way more pop and snap with the throttle now. 
All right, we put it back into rain mode here. Super smooth. Super smooth. That makes sense why I felt like that. Put that back into day mode. Yeah, they dug that up. Dug that up real good. This thing jumps good. This thing feels really good. Overall, just need a couple tweaks here and there. And we'll be right at home with it. If you guys are excited for the videos coming up we got a lot of cross trainer stuff coming so make sure you go down below click subscribe we got crazy trail rides coming up you won't want to miss out see you in the next one